Hi everyone, it's Kim from Affordably Crafty. If you're new here, welcome. My channel is all about learning how to stretch your craft dollar and be affordably crafty. Please like, share, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram and join our Facebook group. So today I have a small haul from the Recycling for Rhode Island Education store, which is the place I go to and get yarn by the pound. Um, some of it has labels, some of it doesn't, so some of it is guesswork. Um, Let's go with some of the labeled stuff first. So here is some vintage DMC um, Senso Crochet Metallics. So there was three of them in this bag. And this is what it looks like. It is like a pale yellow with gold metallic thread in it. And this one, it's 100 yards, so I have 300 yards. Um, and it is size number three, which is the size that's closest um, in crochet thread world to actual yarn. So if you see here, this kind of makes me think of like a three weight. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Um, and this just says it's the color 1402. <laughs> 90% cotton, 10% metallic thread. So I have, where is this made? Made in Brazil. You don't see that every day. Um, so I have 300 yards of this, which is awesome. And again, this is by the pound. Then I have some cone yarn. Now one of, one of these has it, hold on. One of the tips I have on cone yarn is if you get a cone like this, and a lot of times these come from mill ends. What you're gonna do is you're gonna turn it over on the big side here and you're gonna look and see if it has a label. This one does, so we're in business. Usually there's lots of good information on here. So this is Shetland Oatmeal. When it was full, it had 900 ounces or grams. I don't know if there's 900 on here. Spun in the USA from 100% pure virgin wool. Harrisville Designs in Harrisville, New Hampshire. We have carded and spun these yarns from 100% pure virgin wool. We dye the wool before spinning to ensure fast and brilliant colors. We recommend these yarns for both warp and weft. So some people use these for weaving. Um, this is not the softest wool on the block. However, it is a tan color and it's 100% wool. So I could dye this, which is kind of exciting. Um, I'm just excited to find 100% wool there. So if we look at it up close, it is like a beige color, nothing too exciting there, but it make a good base. And I would say that's probably a two weight. What do you guys think? Comment down below on that weight. So that's the first cone yarn. This is the second cone yarn. There's no information on the label. However, it's very soft. It does not smell like wool, feels like acrylic. So it looks like this. I'm gonna turn some lights on in here. So it looks like that. And that's a four weight. I mean, there's that much on it, but it's really, really soft, like super. And it's kind of red with like a sheen or a slight speckle on it. If you can see the sheen. The other cone yarn that I grabbed, because this is the only other one there. Now this one, this feels like it's probably cotton. I can do a fiber test when I get home, but it feels like cotton. So this is a nice dark gray color. You can see that, it's like a charcoal. It's not a black, it's like a charcoal. And there's this much of it, and it's soft. I would probably use that for a garment. I mean, it's not the softest cotton, but it's definitely not a sugar and cream or something like that. Um, then I have these. So I had four of these, two I sent um, off today at the post office to Ginger, um, and these have labels. So this is really pretty ribbon yarn. Timo, 50, gram, 50 grams, and it is 66 yards per ball, made in Italy. 100% uh, polyamide. Cannot read that, dude. Eight to nine millimeter knitting needle. Cold hand wash. 
dry flat, do not ring. Okay. There's even a price on this. So initially these were from yarns at Lace Wings in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. No idea what that is. And they were $11.25 a ball. Keep in mind, this is by the pound and these are not heavy. So I have 100... Uh, over 150 yards of this. Actually, yeah, almost 150 yards of this in the blue. And Ginger has the same in flame colors. Two of them. Um, then we really get into guessing. So there is this odd, like, novelty yarn. It's an oatmeal color, and it's got these, like, popcorn things that are like off white in them. There's not a lot of it. Feels like cotton. It's probably a, a two weight cotton or a three weight. What do you guys think? There's that, that's in a donut, which is my least favorite yarn shape because it always falls apart. This one reminds me of Mary Maxim Mellow Spun. I have some of this at the house. I'll have to look at it when I get home. But that, darn it, that looks like the same kind of yarn. Feels the same, looks like the same um, spin to it. I'm gonna have to check it when I get home. And it is in a like light gray color. Then there's this ball that looks like it's a one or a two weight in a off white color. This is not a full ball because the inside is kind of not together. This is acrylic, doesn't smell like wool at all. So it's that one. Then there is this one, which feels like mercerized cotton. It's got that distinct feel to it. In gray, again, in a donut shape. I think it's a two weight or a three weight. Then there's this tiny ball of red, which is cotton, um, which is a four weight, which I will definitely use for one of my scrap Christmas projects. Then we've got this tape yarn which seems like it's a full donut in blue. Not sure what I'm gonna use that for yet, but couldn't leave it behind in this tape yarn. Then there's, is this the same as that one? No. Another random donut of acrylic yarn and another gray color. So I got three different grayish, donuts and different like textures these might end up together in some kind of project not sure what what else have I got in here oh I have that one so I have this in tan which feels like it is cotton then there's this one weight gray I definitely would say that's probably a one what do you guys think and that feels like cotton also. Is that the same as the other one? Nope, a different gray again. Okay. Oops. Then there's this turquoise colored. Cotton or acrylic, I cannot tell. But it's slightly stonewashed. See what I mean by that? It's got white speckles. Then there's this really nice tweed. Um... And like a teal base and it's got blue speckles and white speckles that's definitely acrylic I can tell by the feel of it and that is a two or three weight my best guess then there's a this is like a blue gray reminds me of like a slate blue I think this is cotton it's not the same as the other ones that I pulled out but it's like a slate blue and then I've got this kind of unique yarn, which is white, but it's got a twist in it. And every so often the twist goes solid. I've never seen this before. Has anybody seen this before in a yarn? It's a very different way to um, spin it together. But I just love that. I don't know what I'd make that into, but I really love that. Plus I love blue, so. And this feels like acrylic. And then there's one more with a label. Now, not a fan of the, um, I'm not usually a fan of the pink, however, I couldn't leave it behind. 
So, oh my goodness, I didn't even notice that when I grabbed it. Whoa, cool. So this is by Roses. This is again from Yarns at Lacewing, and the original price on this is $16 for this one, like, cardboard thing wrapped up. And it's in the color Spring, and this one says... It's 54 yards, 78% viscose, 22% polyester, an 8 millimeter hook or crochet hook, made in Italy. But, so, I just thought it was like, because it was in plastic, like squished up. But then when you take it apart, it's got, these look like little butterflies or little flowers on it. I don't know if you can, let me hold on. It's got like little flowers or butterflies. That is beautiful. Even though it's in pink and I hate pink, that is really different. So I definitely can see why this yarn was very expensive for that amount of it. So it's kind of a novelty, but it's got green with a couple different colors of pink and this light brown. Oh, that is different. Anybody seen anything like this before? Cool. Again, by the way. That's it for the yarn. The reason I went there was to get some stuff to send to Ginger from Yarn Geek for our live in a couple weeks. So this week, tomorrow at 8 a.m. at Eastern Standard Time, is going to be yarn bombing your car. And we've both been working on projects for that all week. It's been super fun. And I, again, will have a Pinterest board to share with everyone. And then the week after is going to be all about Advent. I know there's been a lot of questions about advent calendars, what they are, different yarny calendars. So we're going to be talking about that and discussing different options. And I'm going to be making some stuff. So that'll be fun to get us into the holiday spirit. And then the week after, we are going to be doing um, uncon crochet and unconventional materials. And that is the stuff I just sent out to Ginger. So we're both going to have the same amount of materials in very similar colors um, to work with them. It could be really interesting to see what I, each of us comes up with. Um, so that will be super fun. And, oh, next Wednesday, November 11th at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I am doing a live yarn swap unboxing with Crochet at My House, Charlotte, who is from Scotland. So it's a cross the pond swap. Um, and it's also her first live. So I hope you guys can join me uh, in America. It's Veterans Day. Um, so we'll check that out. And that is what is coming up most recently on my channel. Again, check me out tomorrow on Saturday at 8 a.m. with Ginger, where we're going to talk about yarn bombing your car. And everybody have a creative day. Please like, share, and subscribe so your friends can learn how to be affordably crafty too. Bye!